G'day guys, a student of mine has asked me to solve this question for him, so I just thought I'd make a video on it uh, for all of you guys. So what we have is we have points A and B with position vectors 5, negative 2 and 3, as well as 9, 6 and negative 9. What we have to do is we have to find the position vector of the point P if AP as a ratio of AB is equal to 3 is to 4. So basically, what, we're, what we've been told is the vector AP is three quarters of the vector of AB. Okay, so what we're going to have to do to start with is we're going to have to find the vector AB. So if you want, we can have a diagrammatic representation of AB. Okay, so there's our diagrammatic representation of AB. Now to get from A to B using the vectors that we already have, we have to go from A to O and then from O to B. So we're going to say AB is equal to vector AO plus vector OB. Now this is equal to the vector AO is the opposite of vector OA. So this is going to be equal to negative OA plus OB. And let's uh, work this one out. So negative AO, negative OA, sorry, we have this one, so we're going to have negative 5, negative 2, 3, plus 9, 6, negative 9. And that's going to be equal to negative 5 plus 9 is 4. We have positive 2 plus 6 is 8. And we have negative 3, take 9 is negative 12. Great. Now, what we also know is we know that we've been told that, sorry, AP is three quarters of AB. So let's write that down. So the vector AP is equal to three quarters of the vector AB. So this is equal to 3 over 4 times what we just figured out, 4, 8, negative 12. And that's equal to, well, a quarter of 4 is 1 times 3 is 3. We have a quarter of 8 is 2 times 3 is 6. And we have a quarter of negative 12 is negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Cool. So it's asking us for the position vector of the point P. Now the position vector of the point P is basically P in relation to the origin. So we're actually looking for, if I just, I'll write it up here, a position vector of the point P. What they're asking for is the vector OP. Cool. Now, we have, now let's have a look at all the vectors that we have. We have OA, we have OB, we have AB, but we also now have AP. So, if we want to work out OP, that's going to be the same as, so we could say that OP the vector that we're looking for is equal to 
OA. plus AP. And that's going to be equal to, well, our OA we have up here. It's just written 5, negative 2, 3. And to that we're going to add this one we've just found, AP, 3, 6, negative 9. Great. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Negative, um, oh sorry, negative 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Cool. So we can then say in the end, therefore, the position vector. of the point P is equal to. Now, it's important that if they give it to us in I, J, and K notation, we give it back to them in that notation. So it's going to be 8I plus 4J minus 6K. Okay, so let's just uh, rehash what we've done. We have vectors in three dimensions. Now, what I've done here is I've created a 2D representation just so I can make sure that I get the additions between vectors correct. And that's fine. If I tried to make this in three dimensions, it would become way too complicated and it would defeat the purpose of trying to simplify the vector additions for myself. So what I, was, what I did is I just drew two vectors in two-dimensional space and placed a, ve a point three-quarters of the distance between the two uh, position vectors. So what I then did is I used this diagram to figure out how I was going to work out AB and how I was going to work out AP. And then from there, I was able to work out how I would figure out OP using OA and AP. So I find drawing a quick diagram the most effective way of solving these sort of problems because it makes the vector additions a lot simpler to sort of visualize, I guess. So I hope this video helped you understand or visualize the process of adding and subtracting vectors in three or two dimensional space. If it did, give it a like, you know, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos almost every day. But until next time, guys, um, enjoy your maths.